Now we're going to go to that outrage that is growing over a fatal police shooting in Alabama. Officers now say they targeted the wrong man when they responded to shots fired at a mall. This morning, the family of that gentleman right there, 21-year-old E.J. Bradford, demanding to see the body cam video. ABC Steve Osinsami has the story. The grieving family of 21-year-old E.J. Bradford Jr. is demanding answers this morning. He was shot and killed by police during the confusion of a Thanksgiving Day shooting at this mall south of Birmingham. It hurts me to the core. My son is gone. I can't get him back. During a family news conference, it was too much for his grandmother, who fainted. Shoppers were dodging bullets Thursday after a fight at the mall turned into a gunfight. When police arrived, they initially believed that Bradford was the shooter. The young man, seen here in uniform, who briefly trained in the Army, was holding a gun. We've got officers on the scene. There has been shots fired. Bradford was shot and killed by a responding officer and then blamed for the shooting. Two people had to be hospitalized. But this morning, police have changed the story, saying that he was not the shooter and that the real suspect is still on the run. They just went to rush the judgment on national TV and slandered my son's name. Got my son looking like he a killer. In a statement, the Hoover Police Department is explaining, saying that the 21-year-old brandished a gun during the seconds following the gunshots, which instantly heightened the sense of threat to approaching police officers. A black life taken away. A black man literally given, gave his life for this country for them to take it away from him. His family says he was probably trying to help and that he was legally carrying the gun. We definitely will get justice for our child. So no, no other parent should have to go no, through this. In the gun debate, there's often the argument about a good guy with the gun, and the family of the victim killed here says that's what he was, a good guy with the gun. They believe he is dead this morning because he is black. The officer who shot him remains on administrative leave. Guys. Tragic beyond words. Boy, it Thanks certainly so. is. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.